I pulled out this 1941 zinc five franc coin from Belgium as well. And usually these corrode very fast, uh, you know, I guess during, uh, you know, where it was um, uh, stored or whatnot, the conditions. So in this condition, very fine. Uh, it's worth about two, three bucks. So, you know, pretty good. Put in my inventory. And then I found this one. And uh, this is from Persia. Uh, from 1305. So definitely got a close on that. So one three zero five in Arabic. So that I believe that's equivalent to uh, eighteen eighty seven, and the condition is probably like good, maybe very good, because I believe you know it was a weak weak strike to be uh, begin with, but in good condition, this is catalog at forty dollars American. And in very good condition, it's catalog at 60. So that's like basically in Canadian dollars, about 50 to $80, depending where it falls in that range. So actually this coin, this junk bin coin is worth more than the one I purchased, my main purchase. Pretty good. And very last day popped into the small uh, flea market near Chinatown, or basically in Chinatown. They have one of the oldest Chinatowns in Canada. And um, it was very small flea market. It was uh, in a courtyard. And I picked out these four spoons from a vendor. Actually, I have a funny story. Went to one vendor, they had this like 1925, um, what was that? Um, uh, not Croatia. Serbia, yeah, Serbian uh, 50 para coin. And I forgot they're only make, made of nickel copper. I thought it might have been silver, but it was the size of a dime. And I asked the lady, oh, you know, how much is that? They, she didn't have any prices on the stuff. You know, there's a mixture, you know, knickknacks and whatnot. And she just pulls a number out of her head, a couple bucks. And I said, would you take a dollar? And she, what she said to me was totally funny. She goes, well, you know, uh, I want a couple bucks and, you know, like you don't go to a department store uh, and, uh, you know, negotiate your prices, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I said, no, we don't. But uh, when I go to my local flea market uh, on the other side of the water, at, you know, the Vancouver flea market, uh, we negotiate and bargain all the time. You know, I'm, she was comparing um, a department store which has fixed prices to her little tiny flea market where she just pulled a number out of her head and you know I just thought it was funny I didn't buy the coin anyways luckily because honestly it wasn't worth much more than a dollar uh, after I took the time to uh, look up the catalog price but a few stalls over from her a few tables over uh, this uh, younger lady um, had some older items and uh, some spoons, of course, you know, spoon picker. Um, I picked out, of course, the silver spoons. So uh, I asked her, well, how much are these spoons? Uh, you know, she goes, depends. Uh, each one has a different price. Um, I said, can you give, give me a better price if I bought more? So she said, yeah, yeah, sure. So she said like $2 for these smaller ones, $2, $2. This one, with ha which has somewhat of a, uh, I guess, a Celtic look to it, uh, she said like seven or five dollars, and this bigger one, which looks older, about ten dollars. So, I I basically offered her twelve dollars for the four. I know I should have said ten, but oh well, you know, I didn't want to grind her too much, um, and she took it. So. Um, 
The silver alone is worth about $22. So I got $10 off. But uh, check it out. This one, oops, this one says sterling. This one says sterling. This is British, so it actually, let me see here. Oh yeah. Has some hallmarks. And this one, I figured out, it is German, uh, but was imported into uh, England during 1913 with all the uh, hallmarks on it. So I'll just show you the marks closer. So sterling, sterling, All right, got the hallmarks, D and F, uh, Birmingham with the um, uh, ship's anchor, uh, the line passant, which is sterling, and X is the date mark, which is 1972 in this cartouche, and this one is much older. So it says here, BHM, which is the uh, exporter or the merchant. And then there might be some pseudo um, mint, like uh, merchant marks or maker's marks, they say. These are the German marks. And the export marks or import marks, I should say, um, BHM, the U there means it was assayed or checked for its silver content in London. 925S, which is the date mark, um, I believe it was 1913. Either 1913 or 1918. Yeah, it was close enough. But uh, pretty neat. And yeah, there you have it. This is uh, my vacation slash wedding find in the lovely Victoria, Vancouver Island, Canada. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.